Hello and welcome to this tutorial brought to you by Jawan.com. and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a billiard ball logo and this will be a great logo that you can uh, use on your business cards or on your website or if you make it really big yeah, you can print it out on a t-shirt or something like that so this is a logo you can use for lots of things and this can be actually a very basic tutorial if you watch my previous tutorial which I tra taught how to make a home icon you're gonna see that almost all of the tools that I'm using in here are very similar to that one but that's only a coincidence so again if this tutorial is helpful to you please comment rate and subscribe so let's go ahead and get started first thing I'll do is minimize this and we're gonna create a new document by hitting control in and uh, have your width set to 200 and your height uh, excuse me width at 250 and height at 250 and then press enter and first thing we're gonna do is create a new layer by hitting control shift in and we're gonna name this new layer ball okay and after you have your new layer we're gonna use the um, elliptical marquee tool and we're gonna hold down the shift key so that we can draw a perfect circle just like that okay and next we're going to uh, change our foreground and background color and we're going to change we're going to choose a light blue for the foreground color just a very light blue like that and we're going to choose sort of a dark blue for the background color just like like just like that alright and so now we are going to use the gradient tool and we are going to use the radial gradient tool and so make sure that you have foreground to background selected for that and you're gonna come up to the top uh, close to the top but not exactly in, in the top right hand uh, top left hand side and just draw out a diagonal line you don't need to hold shift or anything like that and that's exactly what you should come up with you should come up with a start it should already start to look kinda of like a sphere when you do that so now we're going to create a new layer again and we're gonna name this layer shine it's time to start working on our shine okay so now we're going to go to select modify and contract and we're gonna contract this by 10 pixels I already have the 10 in there and just click OK or press enter and now we are going to fill this with white so go up here and choose white you know I, I could have just hit D and X but uh, this is this this teaches multiple ways so I think I'm just gonna do that anyway just to make sure that I got pure white now I'm gonna hit alt backspace in order to fill that with white okay so now I am going to go to select modify and expand this time and I'm gonna expand that by 20 pixels I already have the number 20 in there and then press OK now we're gonna select the elliptical marquee tool but not to jot another marquee this allows us to move an empty selection around so we uh, go ahead and move that to about right there and now I'm gonna press the delete key and that so that deletes most of that white and lets the below layer come through so now on that shine layer we are going to reduce the opacity to 25 percent so now only 25 percent of that white is coming through so now we are going to create a new layer again and we are going to name this one inner just like that and now we are going to go to select modify and contract and we are going to contract this current selection by 40 pixels you see because we never did deselect this selection mostly everything we've done up until now we've been using the same circle and so now have the make sure you have the elliptical marquee tool selected so that you can move this empty circle selection okay and so now with that inner circle layer selected we are going to fill that with another gradient so I already have my default foreground and background uh, color selected so I'm just going to press X to make sure that I have black as my foreground color and I'm going to change that foreground color to a light gray just like that 
And so now we're going to drag out another radial gradient. So we'll select the gradient tool. Make sure that you have it select to radial. And again, make sure you have it on foreground to background. And we're going to draw out a, a radial gradient. If I can find my cursor, I do that sometimes. So draw out my uh, draw out the radial gradient. And so there you have a a very subtle um, gray to white gradient so that it kind of gives it more of a 3D effect. Okay, so now we are we're gonna hit control D and deselect that selection. And we're gonna hit control shift N and create a new layer and we'll name this one shadow. Okay, so now we're going right back to the elliptical marquee tool and we are going to create our shadow now. So we're gonna draw out an oval. So we're not gonna hold the shift key down because we don't want a perfect circle, we want an oval. So now we're going to go to select and modify again, but this time we're not choosing expand or contract. We're gonna choose feather. And we're going to feather that by five pixels. I already have the number five in there, so I'll press enter. So now uh, we're going to choose a slightly darker gray than the one we just had for the foreground color and then press enter. Now just press alt backspace and you get your shadow. So now we got to get that shadow un, uh, behind the ball because that's how shadows work in real life. So go ahead and drag that shadow under all of the layers except for the locked background layer. And so go ahead and hit control D again to deselect that and there you go we are just about done now we're just gonna put a letter inside that circle now you, you can go ahead and put whatever letter you want but in my case I'm going to put the letter J but before I do that I'm going to change my foreground color to a blue and if you didn't choose blue go ahead and change it to whatever color you want so I'll try to get it as close as possible so I've got my blue foreground color I'm gonna choose the text tool and go ahead and type in the letter J. Now there nothing appeared and the reason why is because that text layer is down there just above the shadow layer. So go ahead and drag that layer up to the top. So now there is our J. So now I'm gonna hit control T and we're gonna transform this J a little bit. First I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and I'm gonna hold shift and alt at the same time and by doing that it does two things. It constrains proportions and it drags it out from all sides just like that and I'm just gonna do it a little bit now I'm gonna just move that J down here I'm gonna move it to the middle a little bit and now I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose skew and we're just gonna try to lay it out lay, uh, skew it a little we're not rotating we're, we're not rotating it we're skewing it to try to make it look a little more as if it's laying on the ball let me go ahead and drag that over a little bit, and that looks good to me. Now we're gonna hit, hit we're gonna hit enter in order to commit those changes. Whenever you're using transform, you always have to accept the changes, just like that. So we are done. There goes our 3D um, billiard ball. So one last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the shift key, and I'm gonna select all these layers except for the background layer, and I'm gonna hit Control E to merge all of those layers together and now that allows you to move that ball around as so it looks pretty good so let's go ahead and compare that to the previous one to see which one looks better and I always do better on the tutorials than I done on the previous one because the two this one looks better so there you go that's how you create a billiard ball icon and I hope you learned something Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a beautiful day.